Okay, this is a horror story. A horror story that involves one of these. Four inch angle grinder or grinderette. Now this has got a one mil slitting disc in it at the moment, a brand new one. At the time I had my accident with this thing, it had got one of the wider ones, metal cutting disc. This is a metal cutting disc, but it was one of the wider ones. That may or may not have had a bearing on what had some or what happened. Anyway, I've got fairly big strong hands. Pretty big really, for a fairly small chap. And naively, I was cutting three mil sheet steel, holding the grinder like this, thinking that I've got a very good purchase on it. Well, it kicked. They do that, don't they? It kicked. And it kicked a few times, and I was in this kind of posture here. And the last time it kicked, it just went completely out of my hands, gone. And it was dangling near the floor like that, on the cable, still running. And my leg here... I couldn't feel it. Couldn't feel my leg at all. Uh, I'm quite experienced in life. Not a fool. I realised something had gone rather drastically wrong. I looked at my trousers. There's a big rend in my trousers there. I reached down, unplugged the grinderette. Stopped it going. Opened the gash in my trousers and looked. Well, my blood ran cold. There was a good gash in my leg. Now, I'm quite overweight. And if you are at all squeamish, or you get upset by graphic descriptions, turn this off right now, because you won't like what's coming next. I can actually see the marbling of the fat on my leg. Now again, if you're offended by the sight of a man's leg, or him taking his trousers down, turn this off now. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what it did to me. There you go. That's the scar. Now, in there, there's lots of white bits. Now, the width of this scar, bear in mind the width of the disc. It wasn't a cut. There was a piece missing. Completely missing. So, that's exactly how wide the hole was. In fact, it was wider than that because it's healed at the edges a bit more. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm very experienced in emergency first aid. Not only on myself, on a lot of other people in my life, early in my life. And I realised it was quite a bad wound. I live on quite a large plot. And me and my wife have small PMR radios so we can communicate with each other. I called on the radio and asked her to come immediately to the kitchen. She came. I was holding my trousers closed. The wound wasn't bleeding at all. And I think because the um, disc was red hot with molten metal, it had cauterised the wound. So I told her to get the first aid kit, which we always have handy because of where we live in such a remote rural area. It would take half an hour for an ambulance to get here if you were lucky. First aid kit, roll the kitchen towel and to get herself out of the room. And some stereo strips, sorry. Uh, she faints at the merest sight of blood and I've got enough to do with myself without having to look after her as well. Anyway, as I said, my hands are pretty big. I could get all my fingers in the wound like that. And I cleaned it out with four sterile swabs, the sort of thing you look a bit like you get in the Kentucky. Cleaned it out like that with four swabs. Now the pain was starting to come, and I knew I hadn't got long before the pain started to come because that's what happens. It's numb to start with. And then as your body and brain adjusts, it starts hurting. Usually when you look at it, it starts hurting. But anyway, I cleaned it out. I put a bunch of stereo strips across it. I didn't know to start with whether to try and close it because it was a gaping wound or to leave it open to heal. But I decided to close it, so I closed it. And it was looked good. I put a big uh, square melamine, mel melamine dressing on the top and then surgical tape over that to hold it in place. Good job, I thought. Good work. Later, well, not not more than an hour later, I went to a, a martial arts class, a Tai Chi class, which you might think was a bit silly, really, but I did anyway. And I went to the instructor and said, now look, I've, I've hurt my leg and I, I might be a bit restricted today. And what I can do, he said, what have you done? I told him. Now, he's a, he's a pharmacist, so he's no fool. And he sort of pulled a bit of a face at me, and I was wearing tracksuit bottoms. So I said, oh, hang on. 
I said, my leg's wet. And he looked at me, oh dear. So we both went to the gents, took my tracksuit bottoms down, and from here to my ankle was completely covered in blood. My trousers were soaked through. I thought, no, that's not very good. I'm going to have to get some medical help here. Well, there's no hospital in this town where we were, and the nearest one's 40 miles away. So I went to the local pharmacy. They were no use at all, but they did direct me to a, a local doctor's that had a, a minor injuries clinic. I went there, saw a very skilled nurse. She was very, very good. Uh, I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me to start because I was all sort of calm and, you know, didn't look the wrong colour, I don't suppose. And she took me to the consulting room, took my trousers off, she looked sharp in take of breath and she said, I think we'll have to glue that. I was expecting stitches. Uh, medical glue wasn't really about when I was in the, in the game of looking after people a bit. Anyway, uh, she said one thing to me when she, she said, well, I'm going to put this glue in here. It might sting a bit. She put the glue in and when I creamed myself off the ceiling, I, I said, you know, you need some feedback on this. I said, when you say to people... It might hurt a bit. I think you need to change that to this is going to hurt a lot. It was like having battery acid poured in. Anyway, it stopped the bleeding instantly. She heavily dressed it with stero strips, which I'm going to put a picture up of the wound at the end of this. And again, if you're bothered by the sight of real wounded flesh, do not look at it. Uh, it took nine weeks before it stopped oozing blood. Nine weeks. It was a hell of a wound. Now, a month or so later, I was at a friend's house who's a, a GP, and he saw the gash in my trousers. He knew I'd injured myself. He says, is that where you hurt yourself? I said, yeah, it is. He said, how deep was that wound? I said, about three quarters of an inch. He says, that was deep. I said, yeah. He says, you were lucky to survive that. I said, what are you talking about? He says, your femoral artery, the main artery to the feet, your leg goes right down there. I said, I thought it went down the inside of your thigh. He said, no, it comes over like that, goes down the middle, then goes back to... Oh, I said, oh, no. And it made me go really cold quarter of an inch or maybe less because of my estimates and in his words I would not have made it back from the garage workshop to the house I wouldn't have made it I'd have bled out so be warned using one of these things don't be like me don't be a fool